Welcome to Nonfiction Reviews. The Making of the English Working Class is a seminal work of Marxist history that traces the development of the English working class from the late 18th century to the mid 19th century. Written by E. P. Thompson and published in 1963, the book examines the complex social, cultural, and political forces that shaped the working class experience during this period of rapid industrialization. Thompson begins by challenging the idea that the working class was a homogeneous, passive group that was created by the Industrial Revolution. Instead, he argues that the working class was formed through a process of self-creation, as working class people developed new forms of collective action and identity in response to the challenges of industrial capitalism. This process was shaped by a variety of factors, including class struggle, trade unionism, religious dissent, and political radicalism. One of the key themes of the book is the importance of culture in shaping working class consciousness. Thompson argues that working class culture was not simply a reflection of dominant culture, but was a distinct and creative response to the conditions of industrialization. He examines the role of popular literature, music, and other forms of cultural expression in shaping working class identity, and shows how these cultural forms helped to create a sense of solidarity and shared experience among working class people. Another important theme of the book is the role of politics in the formation of the working class. Thompson argues that working class politics was not simply a matter of class interest, but was shaped by a complex interplay of economic, cultural, and ideological factors. He examines the emergence of radical political movements like Chartism, which sought to challenge the power of the ruling class, and shows how these movements were shaped by a variety of factors, including economic hardship, political repression, and popular culture. Thompson also challenges the idea that the working class was simply a passive victim of industrial capitalism. He shows how working class people were active agents in shaping their own destiny, through the collective struggles for better working conditions, higher wages, and political representation. He examines the role of trade unions, mutual aid societies, and other forms of collective action in the development of working class consciousness, and shows how these movements played a crucial role in shaping the course of British history. Finally, Thompson argues that the history of the working class is not simply a matter of economic and political struggle, but is also a matter of culture and identity. He shows how working class people developed a rich and vibrant culture, shaped by their experiences of industrialization, and how this culture helped to sustain them through difficult times. He also examines the complex relationship between working class culture and dominant culture, showing how working class people both appropriated and resisted dominant cultural forms. Here are five takeaways from the book. 1. The working class was not an inert, shapeless mass. Rather, it was composed of individual people who had agency and a desire to better their lot in life. By focusing on the experiences of individual workers and the collective action they took, Thompson challenged the prevailing view of the working class as a passive group waiting for others to act on their behalf. 2. The English working class was not homogenous. Thompson highlighted the diverse range of experiences and identities that existed among working people. He showed that the working class was made up of skilled and unskilled workers, men and women, and people from a range of cultural backgrounds. 3. The history of the English working class was not a straightforward narrative of progress. Thompson highlighted the many setbacks and struggles faced by working people over the centuries. Rather than viewing history as a linear progression from feudalism to capitalism, he showed how working people were often forced to fight for their rights and face numerous setbacks along the way. 4. The working class was not simply a product of economic forces. Thompson argued that the working class emerged as a result of both economic and cultural factors. He showed how workers developed a sense of collective identity and culture that was distinct from that of the ruling class. 5. The study of working class history is essential for understanding broader social and political developments. Thompson argued that the history of the working class was intertwined with that of other social movements and political developments. By examining the struggles of working people, he showed how broader social and political changes were often shaped by the actions of those at the bottom of society. Overall, The Making of the English Working Class is a groundbreaking work of history that has had a profound impact on the way we understand the history of working class people. Thompson's emphasis on the creative agency of working class people, his focus on culture and politics, and his rejection of deterministic views of history have influenced generations of scholars and activists. The book remains an essential read for anyone interested in the history of class struggle and the role of culture and politics in shaping social change. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content on nonfiction. 
Let us know in the comments what other non-fiction books you like to see on our channel.